everyone welcome back to my channel Oka love like y'all know how we do we're gonna jump right on into it so today we are going to be meal prepping three-day meal prep mm -hmm. this is the salmon salmon whichever way you want to pronounce it that i get from all these we are just going to peel the skin off of it you can leave your skin on i like the skin off of mine listen that's just what it is <laughs> <laughs> and then we are going to season it with Italian seasoning, parsley, paprika, and a little bit of Obey. We're going to pop this thing on in the air fryer on 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. So go ahead, y'all. Get on into it, and I'll come Tell back. Tell me what you do on a Sunday I I'm tired of all these Friday nights. And if we're through, I'll go my way. Alright you guys, so while that's in the air fryer, before we start our next meal, we are just going to cut up our veggies, which if you know me, like I think y'all know me, you know I'm going to cut up some onions and peppers. <laughs> So we are going to be using any onion of your choice and we're going to cut up some red, green, yellow and orange peppers. I can't get enough Sunday love, that's all I need. All right, you guys, so now we are going to take about eight tenders and we're going to cut them up. Y'all, y'all know how much I love curry. So y'all know this is going to be some curry chicken. This is definitely the quick version. So we are going to just put our chicken in the pan with some oil. And then we're going to season it with turmeric, Italian seasoning, oregano, parsley, red pepper flakes, a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder. Y'all, we are going to give this thing the works, okay? And then we're going to give that a good mix we're gonna let our chicken cook about 12 to 15 minutes once it is like 90 percent done we are going to add a tablespoon of butter and then we're going to add our curry powder to it you don't want to add the curry powder before because it might burn you, you don't want that mm -mm. <laughs> so you want to add it when your chicken is like almost done and then we are going to add a half a cup of heavy cream to this everything tastes better with heavy cream mm -hmm. any type of sauce butter and heavy cream oh you got yourself a deal okay and then we're gonna let that simmer for a minute and then we're gonna start the plate so go ahead y'all get on back into it and i'll come back I forgot to tell you guys, we're also going to add a little bit of peas and a touch of white wine vinegar. Now, I know some people don't like to eat peas on keto, but peas is also a good low carb. You see, we only added probably about two tablespoons, so it's okay. It is okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, you guys. So next, I just steamed this bag of Kali rice. I just put it in the microwave for about six minutes. Then I punched a little hole in it so I could drain all of the water out. That is the key to get your Kali rice looking like rice and not being so mushy. You got to drain the crap out of this thing. I mean, I squeezed this bag here. <laughs> so we are just going to pop that in the bowl and then we're going to add our curry mix. I really just bought Sims. It was on sale for 99. Man, what a weird sign of the times. Need to keep busy. Trying to eat the hours away. Who knew that I like Milky Way? Wake up, I'm ready to go. Yeah, feeling so good in control. Yeah, think of the places I could be. So I give up and watch TV. I think I'm going crazy, pacing around my room. Tell me that it gets better being alone. All right, you guys, so now we are going to do our Kali rice stir fry. I forgot to mention, I did cut a couple pieces of broccoli florets in there. I always have to add that when I am doing a stir fry. So we are just going to put about a tablespoon of avocado oil in a pan. We're going to put our veggies in. And then we're going to season it with Italian seasoning, oregano, garlic, and onion powder. A little bit of red pepper flakes. And then we're going to pop our Kali rice in there. I did not cook the Kali rice first. The Kali rice is going to be frozen. I'm going to cook it all together in this pan. All right, you guys. Go ahead and get back on into it. And I'll come back. Upside down and I'm turning inside out Tell me that it gets better Being alone, alone together Sit by the window Catching the sun and tracing clouds I can't believe I'm missing crowds Time moving so slow Again, I'm staring at my phone Yesterday feels a year ago You guys, I also added a little bit of sea salt to this one too. Listen, for those who are like strictly keto and you're going to use this recipe, add the sea salt because it is going to help with those leg cramps that you get with keto that don't nobody talk about. Mm -hmm, those Charlie horses that be trying to beat you up in the middle of the night. Yes, add the sea salt that will help replenish your electrolyte. That's actually, you guys, one of the reasons that I stopped on keto like solely by itself because I was getting a lot of Charlie horses, okay? I, I need a little bit of carb or a little bit of something like natural sugar or something because since I've been implementing like just more different type of variety of fruit, that has been helping a lot. I normally, I'll do pickle juice that helps and I heard mustard helps too. I never did mustard, but I heard that helps as well. Now, we're also gonna put some coconut liquid aminos in this mm -hmm. i normally like just regular liquid aminos so liquid aminos is sort of like an alternative for soy sauce but this time i had got the coconut flavor it wasn't too like potent you really couldn't taste the coconut so it was okay but i didn't i didn't want that sweet surprise <laughs> So if you got regular liquid aminos, use that. Or if you do use soy sauce, you can use that as well. So it'll give it that kind of that dirty fried rice feel. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, we are all done. So, of course, my camera died. So now I'm all done cooking anything. The only different thing I did was put some watermelon slices and some pineapple slices in the bag because this is going to be my breakfast. I did put a little bit of grapes in this one because I have ran out of pineapple. And then this is going to be lunch or dinner. Mm-hmm. Yep, something simple, easy, I mean easy peasy. This is my favorite though right here. I absolutely love 
curry chicken i cannot wait to eat this mm. and this is my snacks i got grapes and cheese and pepperoni those are my drinks i'm gonna be drinking <sighs> and then that is it y'all this is a three day meal prep look at that easy peasy easy right so y'all i want y'all get into this garden harvest i know i always tell y'all i'm not gonna bother y'all about my garden but look at all of this harvest the garden is winding down so i am surprised that i'm still getting this kind of harvest i got some tomatoes some cucumbers some peppers Mm-hmm. look at that so i'm gonna leave these all on the table right here where the sunlight hit because i got two windows in the dining room where the sun just glorifies the table <laughs> So I'm going to leave this right on top of it so it can start to ripen. I will be taking them out this bowl and just laying it on the table too. All right, you guys. So the day was 1,263 calories and it was 37 net carbs. Total carbs is 44 grams. That is going to be the end of this video, you guys. If you are new here and you stayed this long, please consider subscribing to my OGs who keep coming back. Thank you so much for your love and support. You guys know how I feel about you. I thank you guys for joining me. I thank you for sharing this space with me. And as always, I thank you for watching.